Yo, what's poppin' everybody? My name is Smojo and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, I hope that you like this video. And if you do, leave that like, leave a sub, comment down below on what video you think I should do next. And yeah, let's do it. So couch potatoes farms have been inside of Wizard Warren for a very long time, mainly because they give a lot of mega snacks, which is what you really need if you're going to try to make an amazing pet. There's been countless amounts of different ways to farm couch potatoes, 69 plus, 60 plus. Maybe you shouldn't do couch potatoes. Maybe you should do magma peas instead. Who knows? But uh, everybody has their own different ways of getting mega snacks. And my personal way is just a 60 plot couch potato farm. And if your personal way wants to be a 60 plot couch potato farm, then I'm going to show you how to make arguably, in my opinion, the best 60 plot couch potato farm now this video will be piggybacking a lot of alf of hagia 60 plot couch potato farm his video is amazing i followed that video personally so big shout out to that guy if you guys don't know him his link will be down in the description make sure you go show that man some love but yeah without further ado let's get it so before we get started there's going to be a few things that you're going to need the first thing you're going to need is at least 60 energy to place these 60 large plots the little dirts the big dirts so you got to place 60 of them guys so, so you're going to need at least 60 energy if you want to go up a little bit more add 120 energy to that guy 180 in total because you're going to need to plant down 60 couch potatoes which costs two energy each after that you're going to need at least something to place the plots on i prefer the wooden the flat wooden platform you can buy that guy at the bazaars so just go nab that guy and uh, yeah that's really all you need is just some dirt a platform some seeds let's get started so there's two ways to do this farm uh you could do a nine by six plus six or you could do an eight by seven plus two plus two uh Hagi made this graph so i didn't make it i don't want anyone thinking that i made it this is all his doing so shout out to that guy again link in the description show that man some love in his video he did the first setup the nine by six plus six in mine we're gonna be doing the eight by seven plus two plus two i love this setup it's symmetrical and that's the reason why i picked it so if you're if you like things that are symmetrical then yeah eight by seven plus two plus two is your best friend before we actually start putting the plots down i want to do some explaining of how this is going to work from looking at the graph we are going to be building the plot from the bottom up so the first two plots you're going to be placing are those two x's all the way at the bottom i didn't know that when i was building the farm so i'm going to tell you guys that because i wish i would have known that before i started building my farm we're not starting directly in the middle we're starting at the bottom or the top depending on you i'm going to be starting at the bottom you can start at the top but i'm gonna start at the bottom another thing to note that this farm is doable inside of a house so if you want to make it a house you can that's up to you i'm gonna make mine outside because that's where plants belong kind of so yeah so i think i made a mistake and i told you guys that the flat wooden platform was in a bazaar it might be in a bazaar but it's also in a crown shop for 1750 gold so if you don't want to travel to the bazaar you could just do it like this and we're done as you can see i already have my couch potato farm right here so i'm gonna be making myself another one because i need another one because i always run out of mega snack packs even with uh double you know double drops and everything so we're gonna be making ours all the way over here first thing you want to do is pick a spot where you want this to be now keep in mind when you're making this we're starting from the bottom or the top we're not starting from the middle so it's not recommended that you actually start in the middle so i'm gonna start a little bit a little bit down here right and we're going to be placing down our little platformy floor here all right so just place it down wherever okay now after you have it placed down here it comes the fun part after you have your little platform placed down we gotta do some adjustments to our settings all right open up your little little furniture thing here click on your wooden platform and click on advanced movement once you click on advanced movement make sure your setting is all the way down just like that and you're going to make sure you're going to switch from relative to absolute and make sure it's absolute movement the difference between absolute movement and relative movement you'll see these coordinates down here and your movements are a lot more precise which is very vital to making this all right after you do this you're going to want to head and set down your first large plot directly dead center in the middle of that guy all right let's take a look back at this chart at our eight by seven plus two plus two chart we're going to be starting at the bottom keep that in mind uh so we're going to be placing those two plops first and every plot that you place is going to be four plots apart so we're going to place one at the bottom left we're going to go four to the right place another one all right and then we're going to move up to the second row so we're going to go up four place one move over four 
place another just like that all right and we're gonna fill up the entire grid so after you place your little middle plot down here we're gonna go back to place object we're gonna click it again we're gonna go to advanced movement and we're gonna move it four ticks all right just like that you can move it to the right i moved mine to the left uh, just make sure you don't move it up or down okay this is very vital that it stays in this position and you only move it to the left or right depending on how you're making your plot so we're just gonna go ahead and accept that open up our gardeny get our large plot and place it right back down now if you're a little bit iffy on if you did this correctly go ahead and try it out with two different plants um they don't actually have to be couch potatoes as long as they can fit inside of these soils they'll be fine but i'm gonna just use couch potatoes because i'm too lazy to use anything else so i placed one down and i'm able to place the other one and now i'm probably never gonna pick those back up but yeah so just make sure if you can place two plants next to each other you're doing something right and if you can't then you have to start all over so make sure you test this out in the beginning and not when you have everything down okay so little mistake uh, when you plant down plants on top of the, uh, the, the the plots, make sure you pick them back up if you want to move this platform again. So you won't be able to move this platform and there's plants right here. My bad, my bad. But yeah, so just keep that in mind. So now that we have our two first plots made, I made this one first, I made this one second. So that means we're going to be moving four takes up into that direction and then we're going to moving either left or right. So let's do that real quick advanced movement four ticks up one two three four just like that press accept go to our gardening and we're going to be placing down another large plot all right now that we did that uh, a little way that helped me remember the pattern of this platform is you just have two at the bottom right and then if you go up one you have four to the left and then four to the right so now we have to go three to the left and four to the right since we don't have one right here it's gonna be one two three four and then since we do have one right here it's just gonna be one two three and then you just keep on going all the way up so i'm gonna just demonstrate that for y'all real quick advanced movement let's go oops wrong direction one two three four press a little check plants large place all right wait till that's done all right now we got to do it again buddy one two three four just like that boom large done nice and we got to do it one more time for this uh for this little section here one two three four check gardening large boom done all right now once we get this we're gonna have to count a little bit more than just four all right because we're gonna have to end up right back here right so we're gonna go one two three four one two three four one two three four now we should be at this one and we're gonna go four more one two three four all right press accept go to gardening get your large thing out boom just like that all right now we're gonna do it again bam advance one two three four check mark large soil boom all right now we're gonna do it two more times nice and now for the last time All right, once you have this made, be sure to count how many plots that you have. So if we count them here, all right, you can click on one of these and it'll show like this red little highlight. That's how, that's what I used to count them. So it should be eight this way and there should be just two right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how you know you got it right. And then one, two, just like that. All right, from this position here, we're just gonna be moving four places up place one down and then go all the way across until we're right here. In total, we have to go up eight 
places not counting the little two here so this will be one all right so we gotta go up seven more and then we have to place two more at the end all right so i'm gonna show a little time lapse of me doing that now you can do it as well and i hope you guys enjoy All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I am now done. Once you get to this point, there's one last thing that you're gonna wanna do, and it involves the King Parsley. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place the King Parsley a little bit above the rest of the plot, which means you're gonna have to go back uh, about 12 or so ticks, and then go up about five or six and place a medium pot right in the middle. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So this is the last plot that we place. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but we'll try to get it as perfect as possible so as you guys know these two plots right here are four ticks apart so if we just go two ticks apart we'll be kind of in the middle so that's what we're gonna do all right so we're gonna take this guy advanced movement right wrong direction we're gonna go two ticks right just like that now we're over oops wrong button say so yeah, once you once you move that guy two ticks to the right to be at least somewhat in the middle um this entire thing left and right is seven Okay, so if we take that, all right, we're gonna have one in the middle, we're gonna have three on each side. So now we're gonna count those three on each side, so they're four ticks apart, so that's 12. All right, and then we're gonna add two to that just because, just trust me on this, so it's gonna be 14. So that means we're gonna move 14 ticks in that direction there. So we gotta figure out, all right, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, now we're gonna edit our Z coordinate and we're gonna go upwards about five ticks, all right? So one, two three four five just like that press that little check mark button go to gardening place down a medium plot as soon as i find it boom and that's exactly where our king parsley is going to go now make sure guys do not plant any plants until you remove this platform if you place a plant down right now you try to remove this platform it's just not going to work so make sure you remove this platform before anything and also make sure that you have everything perfect or the way that you want it to be before you move this platform because if you mess this up down here and then you try to move the platform or you try to put the platform back so you can correct yourself it's gonna it's gonna be a big headache so make sure you have everything perfectly and correct which i think i do so i'm gonna remove my platform all right pick that guy up and there you go we have our 60 plot cash potato farm now we just need 60 cash potatoes which we don't have and i don't even think we have a couch uh, a king parsley yeah, we don't even have a king parsley so yeah, other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. This video will help you a lot, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Big shout out to Haya, because he's the one that figured this out. I'm just the one that's spreading the information to uh, a different audience. So, yeah, shout out to the guy. Link in the description. Make sure you guys check him out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We're all trying to grow, so be growing. So, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.